Hello, everybody, and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. Today, we have a special Kitchen Gadget Corner with Daddy, where I'm going to review this Charcoal Companion CC4120 Safe Scrape Non-Bristle Grill Cleaning Tool, which supposedly can be used as an alternative to a wire brush to clean your grill grates. Why would you need an alternative to a wire brush? Well, according to a study published in the 2016 journal Orthonology Head and Neck Surgery, an estimated 1,700 Americans went to the emergency room between 2002 and 2014 after ingesting wire bristles in grilled foods. The bristles were breaking off the brush and getting stuck to the grill and then sticking to the next food that you place on the, on the grill. So I'm going to test one alternative, a wooden grill scraper. If after watching this review you would like to get one for yourself, I have a link to the Amazon page in the description below. Let's see if this scraper really can clean your grill grates. When using the wooden scraper for the first time, they recommend scraping the grill while it's still hot to burn grooves into the wood scraper to fit your grill for easier cleaning. So let the grill burn for 10 minutes after cooking on high and scrape the grill while it's still hot just like I do for the wire brushes I've used. During scraping, the hot grill began to burn grooves into the wooden scraper. You can see the dark grooves on the wooden scraper begin to form. When I was done cleaning, or so I thought, you can still see some white on the grill on the left side, denoting that the scraper isn't fully cleaning the grill. Since it was dark, I couldn't really tell just how clean the grill was getting. Here is my second time using the Charcoal Companion CC4120 Safe Scrape Non Bristle Grill Cleaning Tool. This time the grill looks cleaner and the grooves get more etched into the wood, but I still cannot really tell how clean the grill is. It looks clean, but it's still too dark to truly get a gauge. So instead of grilling at dinner, I decided to grill at lunch the next time to get the light necessary to truly determine the cleanliness of the grills after scraping. For the third time using my wooden scraper, I wanted to make sure the grill was nice and dirty, so I cooked some hamburgers and sausages. If you're interested in the Bobby Flay style cheeseburgers I made, there is a link down below in the description for the recipe. After cooking the mess, I let the grill burn for 10 minutes on high before using the wooden scraper again, like usual. Here's a close-up of the grill so you can see just how much is burned on the grill. Nice black and grease on the grills. So, let's clean it off. Here's a before and after shot so that you can see how well the scraper performed. The top of the grill is pretty clean, but the sides look like they could use some more cleaning. So, for comparison, I then tried my old wire brush scraper that I've used for years. Here's a comparison shot before the wire brush scraper and after. I think it's clear that the bristle scraper cleaned superiorly. But I still wasn't satisfied with my testing. I thought that maybe either, number one, the safe scrape worked better on a cold grill once it got the grooves, or number two, I'm not using it as well as I could. So I went on for a fourth trial, this time after cooking a patty melt. Link to the recipe video down below. Wanted some nice flame up so that the food gets stuck to the grill, which it definitely did. Then after letting the grill burn for 10 minutes to fully cook the scraps and then scraping after a 55 minute cool down. So the wood scraper, wire brush scraper showdown is on. The left side had more burned bits, so I scraped that side, making sure to angle the wood scraper so that the edges of the grill could get scraped by the side of the wood scraper. I felt this method worked better than just scraping the grill without angling the scraper as I did in previous attempts. This was more effective in scraping off the side as you can see in this before and after picture. But to be more precise on the effectiveness of the brushes, I rubbed my hands along the cool grill. Though I could see that most of the food was scraped off, I could feel some roughness on the grill still. Now, wanting to compare the wooden scraper to a wire brush, I took out my ancient wire brush to see if it would clean the grill even better. I then ran my hand over the grills again to see how smooth they would get, and it was no contest. When I put my hand on the wire brush grill, it was so much smoother to the touch than the wooden scraper. It's almost as if the wire brush was able to sand down the metal grill to get a nice and smooth finish. Take a look at this before and after picture. 
So what do I now think about this Charcoal Companion CC4120 Safe Scrape Non-Bristle Grill Cleaning Tool? Well, here's the good. If you are afraid of having the metal bristles from a wire brush stick to the grill and cause an emergency run in the hospital for one of your family or guests, then this wood scraper can do the job once the grill burns in the ridges and you tilt the scraper left and right. It will scrape off the big chunks and clean the grill pretty substantially. The not so good. It certainly didn't leave the grills with that smooth feeling of scraping off every last morsel of food that a metal brush can, so it wasn't absolutely as effective as the metal brushes are in this department. So whether you are ready for a wooden scraper or to stick with the wire brushes, it's a matter of how much risk you are willing to take. In my six years of grilling and scraping with the wire brush, I never had one instance of a wire bristle getting stuck to the grill and lodged into the food the next time I cooked. And the wire brush certainly did make the grill cleaner. But for my tastes, even if there is a one in a million chance the bristle makes a person need a trip to the emergency room, it's a risk I am not willing to take. So I am going to continue to scrape my grills with a Charcoal Companion CC4120 Safe Scrape Non-Bristle Grill Cleaning Tool. If you want one for yourself, the link to the Amazon page is in the description below. Happy Healthy Bob Chef Barry here reminding you to... Wait a minute, you're still here? Well, if so, then you might want to consider clicking on the like button or leaving a comment down below. It really helps support the channel. And you can also subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays with shorts on Thursdays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.